So the U.S. military wants to control the world's weather by 2025, as we'll see in this new segment from nine years ago. Now chemtrails are just one part of a much bigger picture. Let's watch this clip and then we'll take a look at this technology in use. They we're talking about climate change yesterday, and now we're learning that scientists and researchers are looking at how to change the weather on purpose. That's right, lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City College of New York. Professor, I mean, lasers, really, to change the weather? That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said, everyone complains about the weather, but no one ever does anything about it. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillion watt lasers into the sky to actually precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. This is potentially a game changer. But this is experimental. It's experimental. However, in the laboratory so far, it works. When you have water vapor and you have dust particles or ice crystals, you can precipitate rain. It condenses around the seeds. These seeds can also be created by laser beams. By firing trillion watt lasers, you rip apart the electrons, creating what are called ions, and these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even lightning. Really? Go ahead. Well, I, I, this is fascinates me in part because, too, I remember reading the stories that China had used this during the Olympics, that the USSR had used this after Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, w did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong. Governments have been playing with, with this to. thing. Alleged to. Alleged to, right. Yeah. Now, we realize that for decades now, these governments have been alleged to have experimented with weather control, but nothing conclusive. This time we're beginning in the laws of physics, rather than simply uh, waving our hands and uttering mumbo jumbo. We're actually using trillion watt lasers now. And in the laboratory, sure enough, they precipitate rain out of water vapor. Sure enough, you can actually bring down electricity down the, down the beam. So what does it mean for drought areas that, that need to have rain for crops, and if they don't have them, uh, there's in the consequences of famine. Well, the bad news is if it's a clear blue sky, it's not going to do anything at all. Well, the bad news is if it's a clear blue sky, it's not going to do anything at all. And he who controls the weather will control the world. Shows us cloud seeding is now underway. So in this image, we have just the next rad radars. Now let's take a closer look using the College of DuPage's next lab radar. I recorded this earlier in the week and we can see the beams shooting out of these Nextrads. Now watch the rain develop. We can see for ourselves that this technology is very real and in use. It's all true. So this photo has resurfaced again and people are starting to talk about blue patches in the sky. Let's take a look at this infographic from Climate Viewer. Up on the top left is an artificial mirror or an atmospheric lens and I would think that this would account for these sky anomalies. And as far as the round clouds many of us are seeing circling our skies, well I would think this is more akin to weather warfare than climate engineering. If you want to dig deeper into the science, go check out Climate Viewer. He has done some great work on this. Alright guys, I'm working on another episode of Chemtrails Coast to Coast and Around the World. You guys have shared some incredible images, so be watching for that video, and share this video. While many sleepwalk into the age of extinction, you guys are wide awake and on the ball. So until next time, keep looking up. There's a war going on for your mind.
watch the sand.